like a tugboat. It can kind of push bigger ships. Tomorrow, New Yorkers head to the polls to choose who will be the city's next public advocate from a field of 17 candidates. It's historically a stepping stone toward a bigger gig in public office, but what is in the job description? Arthur Chen is defining the role ahead of tomorrow night's election. With 17 candidates vying to be the next public advocate, the motivations may be simple. For one, the winner is next in line to be mayor if there's a vacancy. Or maybe it's because the office has been a political stepping stone. De Blasio himself became mayor after holding that office. We asked New Yorkers how motivated they are to vote on the eve of this special election. You're going to vote in tomorrow's special election? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know who you have in mind? Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, Yes, you are. Yes. Okay. Whoever is the next public advocate, she or he will essentially be there to look out for the so-called little guy. New Yorkers having problems finding solutions with the city. It's small, but like a tugboat, it can kind of push bigger ships and entities uh, like the mayor and city agencies. Mark Green would know he was the city's first public advocate and considered the most effective using that office as a bully pulpit to embarrass city agencies and city hall into doing the right thing. While some consider former city council member Jumani Williams a front runner, there are no polls in this race. And with no runoff, the slimmest margin may decide everything. This is not a high tech, kind of high television spending kind of race. It's real kind of handing out leaflets at six in the morning to people walking onto buses, it's that kind of race. All this effort is really to fill a temporary vacancy. That's because the previous public advocate just became the state's attorney general. So whoever wins will have to run almost immediately to win re-election in November. That's less than nine months from now. In the end, some political experts are waiting to see if the winner is fully committed to the title or to the job, which can receive some 100,000 complaints in a year. What I'll really look for is whether they can blow the whistle on wrongdoing and be a breeder reactor of creative new ideas. The new idea right now is for New Yorkers to get out there to the voting booth for this special election. Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News. Governor Cuomo getting support from D.C. while signing a new gun control bill.